Hey, everybody, it's Chris Schubert with CNSG back again for the Zoom, where we zoom in on thought leaders in the channel today. Today, I am very pleased to have as my guest Mario Dirigi, Global Channel Chief Extraordinaire or Head Poobah, as I like to refer to him, at Vonage. Hey, Mario, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me. Great to uh, speak to you again, Chris. Absolutely. So, uh, Mario, I mean, you're kind of, and I don't throw this out around very often, but you are an established presence, you know, legendary in that Northeast marketplace. You and I shared some time together at, uh, at a former employer, obviously. Um, but tell me a little bit about, uh, about your background, what brought you to Vonage, and most importantly, what fires you up about Vonage in 2020? Sure. So, um, like you said, our paths have crossed, uh, and it's always been a pleasure working with you, Chris. Um, you know, my background has always been around working with organizations that understand how to put together a successful go-to-market plan. Um, a lot of those have been in individual organizations uh, from my past that were startup that we built into some very large um, players, not only in the overall industry, but some that I would say were the thought leaders in channel programs. Mm -hmm. um, so most of my career has been in sales sales management, sales executive leadership, um, you know, and I, I got a lot out of that over the last 25 years in those executive roles. And really for me, it was, how do you always put together a route to market that is going to drive the greatest probability of success for you and your organization? Um, so that's really what I want to focus on, right, is how do we go about and develop channels that put you in the best position to succeed? Uh, so I've been in Vonage now just over a year. Uh, what brought me to Vonage? You know, that is an interesting uh, question because, you know, I think there was this perception of Vonage back from our heritage. And that heritage was, you know, we spent billions of dollars on advertising. We were the pioneer in VoIP. But that pioneer technology was in the consumer and SMB segment. Uh, so, you know, one of the things that uh, really struck me during my process of meeting with Vonage was, I was sitting and uh, speaking with the uh, executive leadership team, and I started to get an understanding of that my perception of Vonage is not who Vonage is today. So if you look at Vonage today, over the last six years, we've made over a billion dollars in acquisitions. Every one of those acquisitions was focused on applications to drive enterprise-ready opportunities, right? Mm -hmm. So we really took a company that you know was less than you know 2% of the revenue being enterprise focused to being a much, much larger uh, segment of our business today. It is leading segment today is our enterprise. So when I got to get a good understanding of the product set and the solution set that we acquired here and how it differentiates, right? For me, it's always how, what, do, what can I do that nobody else can that will allow me to differentiate and drive a better experience for my partners and customers? And I found that Vonage was truly had that we just did not have the messaging out in the market yet for people to get a good understanding of that. And that's what excited me. Hey, I totally hear you. Uh, you know, even at CNSG, you know, one of the things that fired me up here was about kind of helping us with our messaging overall as, as a true leader in cloud UCAS and not just connectivity. Uh, so hence, you know, our marketing pushes and so forth. And I've seen a lot of similarities with that in Vonage in the last year, you know, from, you know, getting changing of logos, which can be very important. I do miss the old jingle that you guys used to have, though. Um, I, I do more than that. But um, with, when you look at Vonage today, it is a very, very crowded, exceptionally competitive UCAS space. You know, Vonage stands as one of the leaders out there. You know, not just, just, not just another polycom phone with a broad software meta switch integration, but someone that truly represents a leader in the industry uh, that stands above, I'd say, 95% of the uh, 3,500 carriers that are out there today in the UCAS space. But from your perspective, as you look at Vonage today with your new logo, uh, what is Vonage business and what should a customer expect from working with you guys? So if you look at what we've been trying to develop here is we feel we put together the world's most flexible communications platform, not service, not application platform. Mm -hmm. um, you are correct. I think the unified UCAS market, it's getting crowded, probably a bit more commoditized than we like. Um, but, you know, for me, it, it's, it's not just the UC. It is what other application solutions, integrations can you build and develop to 
surround your customer with all the technology they need to drive better business outcomes. So if you look at this communications platform we put together, yes, you see is one part of it, but contact center is another. And then we have this other organization that we acquired uh, years back by the name of the company was called Nexmo that is now Vonage API platform. So we have these three you know, fantastic solution sets that in and of themselves also have you know, a very rich feature set that could drive a lot of you know, solutions for our customers. And for us at Vonage, you know, what excites us is we don't care where you start. You know, we have customers that start their journey with us on the UC side. We have some that start on the contact center side, and we have some that start on the API platform, the developer side. And for us, it's as once you come into the stack, it's understanding that we future-proof technology for our end users. And with that, you know, you know, we could go out and we could grow with our customers and help them meet their business needs because since we 100% own our technology stack end to end. Um, we control the roadmap. Well, since we can control the roadmap, we control that experience with the customer and with our partners. Um, so, you know, going out there and really driving a differentiated solution is what really sets our uh, our products apart. From an experience perspective, because you, you keyed in on a lot of things that are very important. A lot of folks talk about whether or not they own their own stack or some are, you know, piecemealing different pieces together fully integrated, as they would say, uh, to the benefit of their customers. But when you look at the, the differentiator for Vonage, uh, is, it, is it your people or is it your product or a little bit of both? Well, I would say that the most valuable asset any company has is always their people, right? Because you, you could have the best product, but if you don't have the people that represent it appropriately, mm -hmm. you probably do not get the value. So I think our people is extremely important. Uh, and that goes from leadership down to, you know, people in customer service taking our calls and those who pay the finance bills and, you know, hire our employees and everything else. I think we have a very, very good team. Uh, I would say best team I've ever worked with. I, but the products do That's not high praise. I know that old team. <laughs> so really good team here. Um, but the second thing is products matter. And it's not a product, right? A product is just something you develop to help somebody meet, meet an end, right? So for me, is how do you take those products and build solution sets that differentiate? And you know, you said something that is correct. A lot of other people do not own their stack. Um, that does not mean they don't do a good job. Because I, I do agree, there are others that do a very good job trying to integrate different platforms within their own stack to try and you know deliver that unified experience. Mm -hmm. But where we set ourselves apart is, you know, since we own that stack we are able to control the roadmap in the development of that stack. I'm not waiting on any partner, and by partner I mean you know, technology partner that helps us in our product and solution delivery, to come up with a feature that my customer needs. That's on me to develop. So if I have a customer that needs something, I do not have to go outside of our ecosystem and advantage to go out and try and get something to meet those needs. And again, the ability to own that stack truly is a differentiator and it's and then not only how you you know own and deploy the technology but how you continue to develop it um and that's really what's exciting about us here let's delve in a little bit more to one of those those pieces that you mentioned that a lot of folks don't you know we we everyone knows there's a ucas story a contact center story the the important ability to really build that into the customer's overall digital transformation strategy but apis API integration, development, et cetera. That is a unique thing for Vonage. Can you tell our partners a little bit more about that and what, what a, a customer looks like when they're looking for that type of integration? So uh, there is a bunch of different uh, applications there. But look, at, so I look at API as uh -huh. two pieces. One is just the integrations, right? Uh, Vonage prides ourselves on having very deep integrations with external applications, i.e. Salesforce, um, you know, Teams, Dynamics, um, you know, you name it, right? You name the external application because your your solution is only as good as how you integrate and make the other applications uh, and users using work better. So integration is really part of that. We own our own uh, integrations platform uh, and continue to develop that. And the other piece is the developers. So 
you know, if you look at the API side, it, you know, it's got over 700,000 developers that have access to it. These are people globally that are going out and developing custom applications for their end users. Um, things like, you know, using our video from our own, you know, stack that we own our own RTC video uh, technology to go out and provide telemedicine for the healthcare field or go out and provide, you know, customer service or chat bots for contact center or simple things where, you know, if you're on your phone and you're on an app and you are ordering up something, you know, there's a way that the, that app and that customer needs to communicate with you and it needs to be done in a way that respects and protects privacy. So our API platform between, you know, SMS, email, video, you name it, will be able to provide that interaction while keeping everybody's personal information secure. So things like, you know, there are times you'll call, you'll have, you'll pull up an application, call it what you want, call it a taxi car, right? So you're calling up a car. And a lot of times you have to communicate back and forth with whoever is coming to get you off that app. Um, you know, due to strong privacy laws, you know, that you can, you're not going to know who's the person on either end of that. So we are, you know, API platforms and, you know, applications go out and mask all that. So it gives you the experience where you're speaking and communicating with whoever's uh, providing that service while keeping your identities uh, secure. And to break that down a little bit for some of our CNSG partners, one of the key things we love about Vonage is that ability, the fact that they do have the software development side built in. There are a lot of UC and CCAS providers out there that tout their integrations. Very few of them have the ability to build one. And Vonage is, represents a very unique piece within our UCAS and CCAS portfolio that can do just that. Uh, Mary, I, I'd love to put uh, my providers on the spot here with case studies. And I know you, um, one thing about Vonage is the scale. I mean, you guys have a ton of customers. You've been doing UCAS, literally a pioneer, um, as you mentioned, in the residential side and then the business side over the last decade. Um, can you tell us a story of a, of a recent case study where Vonage really made an impact for that customer or partner? Um, sure. So well, there's a couple. So we had a very, very large customer um, that had a specific need around two-factor authentication. Oh, wow. So who would think about two-factor authentication when, you know, you're talking, you know, U UCAS or CCAS? Or That's not a UCAS sale. That's a yeah. software sale. Well, this is a, a very large franchise organization that they needed a verified product, right, for two-factor authentication. So they came into our stack through our API platform because they needed someone to help provide that service for their employees. But once they came into our stack, they started understanding that even more of the um, type of solutions we provide and really how we could help them meet their business outcomes and their, and their strategic goals. And from there, it just grew because then it grew into contact center. Then it grew into unified communications as, as well. And then all the other integrations we were able to put in because we developed for them to interconnect with a lot of their in, uh, you know, proprietary uh applications that run their business, it gave them a you know, unified set of applications and uh, solutions to help meet what they were trying to accomplish and provide a better service to their customers. Because that's the one thing everybody has to keep in mind. Right? You're not providing a solution to that company. You're providing a solution that's going to help them with their customers. 90% of what we do today helps our customers you know, grow, acquire, and maintain their customers as well as provide a better experience to their employees and drive um, you know, productivity there too. So you know, looking at how you could take customized applications to do that, we truly think is a differentiator. So in the spirit of that, you know, we always like to, everyone always wants to know, you know what's the sweet spot for, um, for a UCAS, CCAS carrier, Vonage and Silk? I mean, you obviously have solutions for the small business, and all the way up to the global enterprise, one of our few folks that truly can operate in that global environment. Uh, with such a wide area, what defines the Vonage sweet spot for you? So for us, it is, you know, we want to be enterprise. Um, we, we feel that we developed a enterprise ready stack. Uh, we believe that we truly have the most flexible communications platform. Um, and, you know, 
though we can meet the needs of all customers, mm-hmm. we truly want those customers that need an application that will integrate and help them meet uh, their business outcomes, right? So for us, we lead with CCAS. Um, if you look at it, you know, our CCAS is pretty well known as the leader in the Salesforce CRM. And there's mm-hmm. reasons for that. Um, if you're a Salesforce customer, no one's going to be able to provide you a better experience than Vonage because of the way we embed our technology in Salesforce and do not integrate. Uh, everybody keeps talking integrations. And I'm like, we don't talk integration here with Salesforce. We, we are embedded in um their application to give you a better, you know, single pane of glass experience. Um, so I would say really quick, if you have a Salesforce customer and they're using Salesforce as the CRM, there is no better solution than what Vonage has in the marketplace. Vonage equals Salesforce. Well, knowing Salesforce is a key for you. I do have one bonus question for you. you talk about integrations. What is Vonage's position on Microsoft Teams? Uh, obviously, we're seeing that more and more, the requests for Teams, the questions about Teams, et cetera. Where do you see Teams fitting in with Vonage's strategy in 2020? So, uh, I mean, some will tell you that Teams is a little bit of a competitor of ours. Um, I just think, you know, Microsoft always has a fantastic product out there. Uh, they also have a well-known brand and a well-known reach to acquire customers. So for us, it's, you know, how do we integrate and make the experience better for our customers? We have that integration with Teams. Uh, we have a, you know, I feel an industry leading integration with Teams. Um, mm-hmm. So from us, it's how do we make the applications work better together, together right? It's just that simple. For Again, our goal is always to integrate within every application a customer uses is, that is business critical. And if Teams is business critical, we integrate well and we work well with it. Well, Mario, it has been an absolute pleasure having you on the Zoom here today. And I hope our CNSG and AppSmart family that's listening to this podcast or watching us here on YouTube uh, have gotten a kick out of getting to know you a little bit in the Vonage family. Uh, Should they want to take this a little bit deeper and get to know Vonage within their business, what's the best way to interact with you guys? Who should they reach out to? So for us, you know, we, we truly have in the channel at least a strong, you know, program around providing our national masters a great uh, experience. So if you're a partner out there, you know, we have coverage on every one of the large partnerships out there. So, you know, if you're a CNSG partner, give Greg friends a call and let's set up a meeting. We'd love to talk to you. Fantastic. Well, Mario, thanks again for being being my guest this week on the Zoom. I uh, look forward to big things with Vonage in 2020. And for all those listening at home or watching on YouTube, thanks again. And we will see you next time on the Zoom. Thank you.